There we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me, give me, give me. Hey everybody, Stan Smith from Iron Sharp K9, and we are here with Henrik from from Reinhardt by German Shepherds. And this is that's common spelling. That's common spelling. So if you guys are looking for German Shepherds, 100% German working lines, AKC registered. You see all of it there. Website, phone number, contact this man if you are looking for shepherds. So today we are going to be getting his puppies out, and we are going to pick which one are we going to keep and raise for a little bit. We're not keeping a German Shepherd. No Shepherds are going to know. <laughs> but we are going to raise it up. You guys, if you were interested in getting a Shepherd, contact Henrik. And if you want this one that we are working with, stay tuned. All right, so we're going to put him through a couple of tests. We're going to get the sack, see which one chases the sack first. The best has the best bite, all of these full mouth grips. Then we're going to do some noise tests with them and then some confidence stuff, getting them on the obstacles, seeing which dog's going to make the best potential working dog. And just because the dog does best today, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be the best out of the whole litter. But the best part about having Henrik so close is if he doesn't do it like we like, we're going to swap him out for another one and raise that dog up. We're just going to continue to build all these dogs' confidence up individually so we can get the best dogs in the people's homes. So you guys stay tuned. Alright, so the first thing we're going to look for is how food motivated is the dog. So he has some hot dogs in his hand and he's luring them around. So as you saw, there was no fear. He was curious about it, and that's what we're looking for. I don't care about the dog that's going to run over there and try to bite it first off. I want the dog that's thinking about what's going on. So now we're going to up the ante just a little bit of the... starting off pretty successful there's older dogs that see stuff like this and go crazy and he was going through the cans and the bottle and he's still paying attention to him I think he passed this test so one of the most important things for a working dog is their desire to want to chase and work so we're gonna Good boys. Good. And he's interested. Again. Oh, good boys. 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 And this is what we're looking for, people. We want a dog who's motivated. Just because he missed on that first one, he came back. Good boy. <laughs> so he has a lot of prey driving that's why he's coming after this but now he's knowing okay this is where I get my bite from good boy so this is just something we're gonna have to work with him so he pays more attention to the bite versus everything else that goes on but at 12 weeks old this is a very good start for the puppy he's not running away from it he's not intimidated by it He's just paying attention to all the stuff that's going on. And this is what we like to see. Good yeah, boy. So having a working dog, you want them to be social. You want them to be able to go anywhere. So now it's going to be the kid test. So we got it. <laughs> you can give him one. Oh, you did one of them. Check one. <laughs> This is what you want. He's curious. He's trying to get the stuff out of the kid's hands, but he's not being overly aggressive or anything like that because you do want your dog to be family friendly, especially if you are having a protection dog that's oh, going to be more? in the house. You want some too? Let me try. 
<laughs> Alright, so mess with them. Nope, she got it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Good God. And you can even see, he's not like being overly aggressive trying to bite and take the treats out of her hand. He's thinking about it. He's nibbling just a little bit because he is still a puppy. You'll be alright. But this is what we're looking for. We want a clear-headed dog, especially if you're trying to get them to do something that's going to be potentially keeping their family safe. You want a dog who's thinking and clear-headed. Y'all stay tuned. Alright, so this is the tire test. We're going to put the dog and see how motivated he is to get out of a situation. So we're going to put him in the tires and then we're going to just going to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? All right, it's the tunnel test, people. So you have to come over here and get them coming out. Hey, buddy! Oh, water! <laughs> <laughs> Good boy! Yay! So this was a dual effect. There's a tunnel and there's a water obstacle that he has to go through, and he accomplished that, people. So I say this pup is uh, is pretty high on the list, but you guys stay tuned. All right, so the next puppy that we are going to do some stuff with, and again, we're gonna do the same test and see how he responds to it. So we're gonna start with the luring, yeah, with the leaf blower. Sounds good. All right, so we got the next puppy out here. We're gonna do the same thing that you saw with the first one, and we're gonna see who did it a little bit better. So Henny has yeah. his treats. We're gonna start with that low. <laughs> <laughs> and again, he was curious about it, but he didn't freak out. And he went back, now he's checking it out again. Yes. And we're going to raise up the, the speed. Well, it looks like these puppies are starting off neck and neck. So now, let's take them over to the pool, Henny. To the pool. To the pool. To the pool. To the pool, boy. This is fun to see. This is fun to see. Hey, hey, yes. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it. Oh, I think he passed that one. Now we're gonna grab this sack and see how much drive he had. He said, I want that food. There he goes. Oh, I usually need a little slower to learn. So, hey, I don't know if you can tell the size of the difference between this pup and the last pup. He is a little bit bigger than the last one. So, the bigger dogs in the litter, they may take a little bit longer to mature. So, we just don't have to watch and pay attention to this one a little bit more as he grows up. All right, next test. It's the children's. There you go. Our next test is the kitties. And he wants to go investigate. And again, these puppies, same litter, different personalities early on. He's more curious and adventuring, and there's nothing wrong with that. He's not insecure. You can work with this. It's just going to take a little bit longer to get him interested in what we want. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's just the work, people. You got to put in the work whenever you want these dogs. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, it just takes on. Let him get one. <laughs> you can't be scared. Here, hold it like this. Put your thumb like that. And then. There you go. There you go. So it just took him a little longer to get interested in the kiddos. In the kiddos. Kiddos. And the cat test. There we go. Look at that. So it just took him a little bit longer to get going. And again, there's nothing wrong with that, people, because they're not going to be finished at 12 weeks old. They're not going to be finished at 16 weeks old. They're not going to be finished at 100 weeks old. You're always going to be doing something with these dogs, people. Good job. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Obstacles build confidence. Come on. All right, so we got the tire test. We're gonna see if he's gonna get out. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on, figure it out. Come on. Yes. Oh, there you go. There we go. Go, go, go. Come on. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's like a jack in the box. Oh, there we go. oh yes, boy. Good job. What we're looking for Good is he gonna quit? Is he gonna get start gonna crying? Quit. Is he gonna be insecure? Gonna no, quit. he kept going until he figured out quit. how to accomplish the mission. And these are very good traits to have in your dog, people. Go back in. All right. So by now, y'all know the routine. We're gonna come out here. He's gonna lure him around, and I'm gonna blow. They're all been very curious at the initial, but none of them have been spooked, none of them have been worried. Yes! Yes! <laughs> this one was a little more deterred than the others. But every dog in the litter is going to be different. And at this age, they're still growing, developing all their confidence and whatnot. Just because he's acting like this right now, again, does not mean this is how he's going to act next week or if we introduce him to these things. All this is, is just an initial test to see what these dogs yes. are going to do right out of the gate. Yeah, 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 yes. But as you see right before your eyes, he's not acting how he was 30 seconds earlier. In these situations, when you're exposing your dog to stuff, if you get frustrated, if you get upset, it will show them, hey, you should act insecure in those situations because I get upset. Hey, and he's off. I got the water. <laughs> go to the water. Uh, now he's gonna try to get him in the, in the pool with the bottles. And the bottles, it's just random noise. They're gonna make sounds, they're gonna move, and this just teaches the dog to be <laughs> yeah. That's the one way to do it. Yeah. Uh, that he shouldn't worry about stuff touching him, noises, crunching, all of that. Did the cat? Did the cat? Did the cat? And if you want, you can put like rocks and BBs in there, and, and then it's going to make even more noise when the cans and stuff move. is gonna need he's just gonna need a little bit of time to grow up they are still very very young at this age so he's curious he's not acting insecure you can always build interest in things like this but he's probably gonna be more like of a pet home he's really chill just kind of lack of day school going through it not necessarily the best working dog but if you just need a chill dog that would do something he would make a good one <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next test is the tires. And again, this is just motivating to see how motivated the dog is to getting over an obstacle. So Henny, do what you do. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Oh, okay, okay. And then now we're gonna let the puppy do what he do. Hey, come on. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. You did not do that. And that's a funny thing. So he didn't do as good as the initial on the the blower, but he came over here and he did better than the other dogs. How? What are we gonna do, people? How are we gonna pick? How are we gonna pick? Pick them all. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so the last pup in the list of who we are going to pick is what are we calling him? Brody. We're calling him Brody. Brody. So he's going to get the Brody. 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 It's very deep. deep. Gotcha. You got to say it deep. If you don't say it deep, it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> so, same concept. He's going to lure him around, and I'm going to blow. Curiosity, checking it out. I got other stuff to do. Yes. Come here. Come here. Yes. Come here, come here. Yes. Come here, come here, come here. Yes. So he's the most curious about this. But he's not afraid. He's not intimidated. Ready. He's not being insecure yes. about it. He's just curious. I have to pull the confidence, people. <laughs> That's exactly what I expected to happen. Go ahead, go ahead. He doesn't care about anything that's going on. This is what we want. It is the tire test and again we're just seeing how motivated this dog is to go over an obstacle that is placed in front of him. Let's see Henny. And he's one of the smaller ones too so. Hey! Oh! What's this up? is what I'm supposed to do. What's up? Hey! Come what's on. up? Yes. Yes. What do you want? You want a Zazie? Come on! Come on! Figure it out! Figure it out! Yes! 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 Come on! There we go! Come on, come on, come on, come on! And you're hearing him whine, but he's also yes. finding what he needs to do in this situation. Yes! He's oh, figuring yeah. it out. Yay! Good job! So what we're gonna do is after he got that one success. Now you should know. Yes! Come on! Come on! Brody! Let's go! Oh, Come go, on. go, 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 go! Work it! Figure it out! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Normally in a perfect world, after he learns how to get out the first way, he's going to come out the second time and be just as good. He said, uh, I'm just going to hang out here now. Let's go. Come here. <laughs> there we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 So this shows us two things, that he is not yeah. going to give up yeah. in any situation. He's going to keep trying, he's going to keep trying, he's going to keep trying. Yeah. And this is what we like to see, people. At this age, it's about building the dog up. Just because he didn't get it first off, that doesn't mean he's not going to be a good dog. I like him. He did not quit. And that's one thing, people. You just can't quit in anything that you're doing. When dogs and life, just don't quit. Keep going, keep getting better, and keep putting in the work. All right, people. So. It looks like this is the one we are going to take and work 
for now. <laughs> Whenever you're working with these dogs, don't be upset if your dog doesn't do everything the very first time. That just gives you something to work toward and on. So we're gonna work on him, paying a little bit more attention with the food lure, getting worked, just building a good, well-rounded dog. So is there anything else people should know about German Shepherds? No, pick the right one. Pick the right one for you and what you, what you want from him. So don't get the craziest one. If you just want one for a pet home, be honest to yourself and uh, you might want to take a chill one. If you want a crazy one, you're going to get a crazy one. So basically people should pick the dog that's going to match their lifestyle. Yes. Don't get one if you live in an apartment. And if you are picking up a dog from a breeder and they say, hey, I think this dog will be more suited for your situation, probably listen to them. They spend a lot of time around these dogs and especially people like Henry, Trevor, they know the dog that they're giving you guys. So make sure you're going to a reputable, reputable breeder. Reputable. Oh, don't ask me. Yeah, see, I didn't, do, I didn't do good in English. And that's why we're training dogs, because we're not scholars. <laughs> but make sure you go to a breeder with a good reputation. And they know what they're doing. And as always, people, just take care of your dog.